Hey guys, so today I have drawn a bunny rabbit, but it looks more like, you know, those deranged looking animals that you see like out of places like Chernobyl. You guys have heard of Chernobyl. It was a place that, you know, was once a busy town, but then it got so much radiation that, yeah, anything, any life, plant life, or anything that was in it was poisonous to it so they had to evacuate the area and yeah now what little life there is left in there it either ends up dead or like mutated looking and yeah so anyways I tried to draw a drawing of a bunny rabbit today it was my first time and this drawing that I drew reminded me of Chernobyl because of again what has happened there and like the wildlife and the plants and if any animal does survive there it ends up looking mutated or having genetic mutations because of all the radiation and pollution and stuff that's there so yeah when I saw this you know bunny rabbit and how I you know drew it and how it turned out I remember Chernobyl. I heard about it years. I don't remember the whole exact story, you guys. But if you're interested, you can look it up on YouTube and, you know, like, Google and stuff. And you'll find out more accurate information. But it's been a long time since I've heard about it. But it's no longer an area where people, you know, are in. Because it's, you know, it's dangerous and it's unsafe. So, yeah. But anyways, this is my little mutant bunny rabbit drawing. Because as you can see, it does. It looks like a mutant. So I um, named this drawing the mutant bunny rabbit drawing. <laughs> right here are the whiskers. There's the bunny rabbit's face. Those are the eyes. These here are the ears. That's his little chest that's his body these here one one two three those are his feet that's shading there's some grass this here that's a waterfall um that is a flower that i did with um the stems and the leaves here's the sun i'm just gonna leave this in here and leave it plain no coloring, no nothing. And I'm just going to keep it the way it is. There's my name right here. Erica Marie Item McKellips, 2023. And, yeah. I thought I would show you guys. I finally have some time to myself. So, I figured, yeah, I would let you guys see it and not to mention I just got finished feeding everyone their breakfast burritos and I got to eat and now wave a lily rose she's down for a nap it's like 421 so yeah I finally have like some time so yeah but again this drawing is called the mutant bunny rabbit drawing but yeah he reminds me of Chernobyl so yeah, that's also why he's called the Mutant Bunny Rabbit. That and he looks like one. So, yeah. I'm going to try and draw another bunny rabbit. And one that looks like a bunny rabbit. <laughs> and not something out of Chernobyl. <laughs> I like the flower though. The flower came out good, I think. I like that. I'm happy with that. But not with this little guy here. So, yeah. It's starting to get a little bit cloudy, but it's still clear. Over there is where it's cloudy. It's starting to get a little bit cloudy. And, yeah. There's the deck and the birds. And, yeah. So, I'm thinking the rain might be getting ready to come. I could be wrong, though. But, yeah. I'll take a picture of it. Because, yeah, I love taking pictures. But this, yeah. 
if you want to know how you shade, you just color in with the pencil. And then what you do is you use your finger and go like that. And then at the end of the pencil, there's a eraser. You erase a little bit. And then you go like that. And that will like, you know, shade it. And again, there's the sun. Yeah. Anyways, I better go back inside before Raven starts going, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Bye, guys.